Uh, new research finds two out of every three adults experience regular digestive problems. And if untreated in some worst case scenarios, those stomach issues can lead to depression, heart attacks and strokes. KRDO News Channel 13's Bryn Carmen looks into why adult women are more affected by this in this Healthy Women report. We've all been there. Tummy troubles after a meal. Abdominal pain, bloating, gas, thyroid constipation, but brain fog. Uh, fatigue, moodiness, even exacerbations of your eczema or psoriasis can all be linked to an unhealthy gut. Dr. Andrea Clemis is with MDVIP, which is a national network of primary care doctors who focus on delivering personalized medicine. A new MDVIP and Ipsos poll finds three in four women are experiencing symptoms a few times a month or more. And younger adults ages 18 to 44 are more affected by gut problems than older adults. Well, think about the gut as every and just the stomach, but it's really everything from your mouth all the way to the other end. And what they don't know is an unhealthy gut increases your risk for things like heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, and dementia. Dr. Clemis says there's no magic number about how many times a day or week you should go. What's right for you might be different compared to a family member or spouse. She also adds that 56% of Americans are not talking to their doctors specifically about their digestive health. One of the things about women also is the study showed they feel dismissed by their doctors. And so they're um, afraid to bring it, bring up issues that may be embarrassed. And so they don't go in and get the help that they need. And really, nobody should suffer in silence. But it's important to speak up and communicate what is and isn't working with your diet and how you feel. And when it comes to improving bathroom behaviors, Dr. Clemis has a few things you should keep in mind. The things that feed the good bacteria. So, for example, probiotics are the good bacteria. Better to get it from food because it's natural and you know you're getting those good bacteria. Things like yogurt, pickles, fermented foods like sauerkraut. And then get in some of the prebiotics that feed those good bacteria. Uh, garlic, onions, asparagus, slightly ripe bananas, oats. If you are wondering where your gut health is at, you should start a food journal and consult with your doctor about how you're feeling if any sensitivities arise. You can also take the gut IQ quiz we have linked within this web story. Dr. Clemis says 85% of Americans who initially took the quiz failed it. And because it was eye-opening for so many, she hopes it will lead to some more knowledge about gut health and healthier lifestyles moving forward. In the studio, I'm Bryn Carmen, KRDO News Channel 13.